again, that will also stand for uh, Matt, I guess. And uh, yeah. you are still in the corner of the picture unless you back up another. That's okay. Well, I just want to be like front and center. <laughs> there you go. You didn't want it to be the uh, picture like, of the back of your head. Maybe a video of me <laughs> with everybody else's body. <laughs> <laughs> your reactions to whatever we're saying. Yeah, you're betrothed. I was actually just me at the time. I feel like I'm talking to myself at some of these. You're just putting words in everybody's mouth. Uh, it's only Andy. Uh, yeah, to get a flavor of what you're doing, you should go put a headphone in your head. Is it still running? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's stunning. It's, it's, it's just it's stunning. Cool. There's coolness over there. Uh, oh, my gosh. It's stunning. <laughs> Um, so wanted to hit a few things uh, today, uh, uh, and, and it's all kind of uh, around our deliverables, uh, what's going on at uh, 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 Discover Tech Maria, and uh, 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 Tanya hadn't yet said if we get in a week later, uh, that it'd be the same thing at Discover Tech Maria, um, but I want to use that as a uh, way of uh, pushing uh, as a test run of our deliverables for March, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so uh, it's... Uh, a, shouldn't be a departure from our critical path as much as it is uh, uh, just a test run to see if things are working in, the, in a real working environment. And so the pieces on that that are uh, most critical, uh, speech is one of them, uh, seeing if speech works, and uh, I, in just a minute I want to uh, kind of talk through what that uh, could look like and have you, you guys talk through a bit on what the uh, speech scenarios are. Uh, um, and uh, then uh, the magnifying glass is in there now, which is cool. Uh, uh, we uh, still want to uh, get some earthquake effects and some county effects in there. Uh, and uh, if we had the demo as is shown there uh, with a speech intro that you ask a question or two, so we test the microphone out uh, and uh, an earthquake uh, and then a, 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 a 40 minutes later, uh, tsunami, um, then I think we're actually golden for the, uh, the 22nd. Uh, that uh, I would not require anything more than that. And would you agree with that, Yvonne? I think I just heard the music to my ears was that it sort of sounds doable. Yeah, I think so. So, so I think this should sound not only doable, but uh, oh yeah, we can hit that next week. Uh, and and I, I say this because we also have to set cutoff. So uh, that uh, um, I'm most happy if, if we hit that next week, uh, uh, not by Tuesday next week necessarily, but but by the end of next week. Uh, I would like to be a wrap for uh, what we uh, show on the 22nd. Uh, and the 22nd is actually right in the close. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm just pulling up the month uh, view. Uh, yeah, so uh, next Friday is the 16th. Uh, and uh, I would like to plan on uh, uh, having the 16th be our uh, last build day for the 22nd, because then we'll worry about physical setup and we'll worry about the booth and packaging and, uh, uh, and, and uh, only as a sideline to worry about how to carry the bills on from there to uh, keep making progress and work on things. Um, but I find that if we uh, have a uh, deadline that's right up to the last end of the deadline, it's both terrifying for what you have to show, uh, as well as distracting and carrying the project on board. And while the 22nd is coming up quickly, uh, March 20th is coming up more quickly. Um, so that's kind of the, uh, the, the, the rough story of uh, what I'd like to see in there. Uh, um, what uh, what reactions do people have to that? What what pieces am I forgetting that we'll need for this event? Uh, what uh, things are you worried about? We'll problems with? Uh, what uh, we want to do with the second mic test? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the way I envisioned this, uh, and uh, yeah, tell me if you see something different. Uh, is uh, and I didn't bring the uh, other mic that I have. Uh, I've got a little around array mic, uh, and uh, in the uh, final build for uh, March twentieth. I would really like to see this little round array mic uh, you know, be uh, built into a robot head, uh, and ideally a robot head with a little LCD screen in the middle of the robot head, uh, um, and uh, uh, then have uh, a uh, little cable running down to the uh, laptop that's sitting under the uh, robot head cable, uh, and uh, I have that uh, Alienware laptop is worth doing all the processing. So it's not actually a robot that uh, has a built-in embedded machine or anything like that. It's just running through a laptop. Uh, uh, but the uh, array mic uh, is uh, very good at echo cancellation and very good directional mic. Uh, and so it's going to knock out the uh, background noises pretty well for this, I think. Uh, now, I don't think we can do a uh, large vocabulary, uh, a, a, a every custom name under the sun kind of thing. I'll think more about that since I mentioned it. Uh, um, but I think we can do simple questions and small lists of, uh, of things. Um, and uh, for the Allison part of this to start, the uh, idea of getting uh, getting organized, uh, I think that's all we need, really. Yeah. 
the one piece that's a question mark in my head in that part of the scenario uh, is uh, how we pass things from Alice in the Intro Robot uh, to the uh, the game. Uh, and because we don't want to do the two-player thing anywhere, I think it's just a simple file push uh, somewhere uh, that uh, uh, yeah, this computer has a, a, a file share open on that computer uh, and uh, does a copy to it uh, when it does the recognition and uh, puts the bits and pieces that it needs there. Uh, and then we pick it up from this flat pot file on the computer that's running the, uh, the, the VR experience. Um, we could do it uh, more more involved in that if we wanted to uh, okay, open up a port from uh, the Unity game and uh, kind of shuttle things over. Uh, but uh, it just seems easier to uh, to treat a file as an intermediary. Yeah, it's not slight information. No, it's not. It's 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 tiny amount of information. Yeah, and it's only once. And so. it's once exactly, exactly. Um, and that also allows us to have a good fallback uh, that uh, if something goes wrong with that, if our uh, Wi-Fi goes down for some reason or somebody uh, uh, knocks over Allison and, uh, and our robot breaks, uh, that uh, uh, every time we pick up that file, uh, we uh, delete that file. Uh, and if the file is deleted, we use default settings and say, yeah, call the commander and uh, uh, yeah, just uh, reset it. So, so everything the intro robot is doing uh, is in some sense op optional. Except the intro robot also is the one that teaches you how to put on yep. a headset. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. Okay. Um, that uh, if, the, if the horrible happens and somebody okay. knocks over uh, the intro robot, we have to teach people how to put on the headset and stuff. Uh, yeah. It serves a very real purpose, uh, but in terms of the actual communication channel, uh, um, it's, it's optional. That, that we could, human uh, intervention could take over for, for it to have to. Okay. Or a video. Yeah. yeah. You know, but I'm hearing, yeah. I mean, the robot. Um, okay, what uh, what from there? I almost feel like it's time to uh, pass to you to talk to uh, some of the, the uh, drone interaction stuff because uh, we're still in this kind of big picture of what March twenty second or March twentieth rather could uh, could carry. Does that sound original, intro? Yeah, I've been thinking like the last couple of days. I've actually been thinking less about the drone specific thing and just thinking more about that initial like cutting out how the speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, talk, talk, talk through your uh, yeah, yeah, your storyboard uh, in whatever yeah. way you want. Cool. So um, with the voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so um, I did this. I wrote this whole uh, kind of choose your own adventure script, but I've kind of boiled it down now to um, higher level points. Um, and I've also now edited it. So just sorry, give me a moment for you to find my screen if you want. Um. Okay, so basically you approach the, the Allison robot, which is the robot with the headset in front of it, and then you talk with Allison to learn to adjust the headset. Um, so those instructions happen. Okay, and then once the headset's on, um, Allison says, welcome to the um, EOC, uh, Emergency Operations Center uh, Training Simulator. This virtual EOC will be released in 2025. You and your partner have been selected in training for to be in the command of the mission in this EOC. Before we begin, would you be so kind as to reconnect my head to my body? So at this point now you have the headset on, and the controller that you picked up at some point, I skipped over that, but you picked up the controller, it starts to vibrate, and as it vibrates, it turns into a big long stick, and um, your task along with your partner is to put the stick near Allison, and Allison will, like, throw arms, grab onto each of your partner's sticks, and then you have to carry her over to her body, which is on the table, uh, body slash power suit. Um, the purpose of this being to kind of uh, gauge the aptitude of our players. So do we have people who are going to be good at video games and work together? Um, and we can maybe use that later on to modify the difficulty of some of the mini games, uh, perhaps. Um, so then Allison's in her um, power suit. Great, thank you. Let's give you a better tool. Claps hands, the controller vibrates again and turns down with a magnifying glass. And why don't you use that magnifying glass to take a look at this? And she makes appear a, um, an orb of some sort, uh, like a glowing orb. And then as you take a look at it, uh, again, the controller vibrates and the orb bursts and you see your player piece. And then... So where are we at this point and where's the board in front of us? Uh, we've now, because as we've picked up Allison, we've moved her over the board, 
Okay. So we're now facing the board. And and so we're seeing the map below, uh, and Allison's uh, hovering over the map, putting the orb up, hovering in place in front of your eyes. I don't actually think that the, as as you look at the orb, when that bursts, it bursts and then splays out, and it shows the map like that. That's when it turns oh. from her power suit cable to the actual map. Okay. Like, wow. Yeah. I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, interaction with the 3D map in that uh, pass, uh, just because we're making it to look kind of the same and overlay stuff on it. So, but uh, but okay, I'll hold on. I'll hold this. Extend my display. Cool. I, I, I don't know. It's not. It's not a major concern. Okay. Cool. Um, so, hold on. so yeah, uh, at this point, it's just table with Allison. I've moved the orb in terms of the map, um, and now you have. It also reveals the player piece, um, which you can move around to do different training scenarios. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we do all those training scenarios at some point throughout the training scenarios. Maybe maybe you've done them all. You probably haven't. It's good to be enough. Uh, earthquake hits. Table starts shaking. Things around the room that like we've put up like fall over. Um, and then we move into the response phase. So uh, moving the piece around to put up fires. Um, the the drone scenario that I'd imagined is. Um, the drone? Uh, or? I don't know about the, okay. It's mixed. Um, is that Allison pops up and says, um, and this is what I had, and we talked about there. Um, you can maybe say what you had said to me uh, yesterday or next Sunday. Uh, but I don't understand. But I yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, so uh, my original drone idea was um, that Allison comes to you and says, uh, uh, We only have one drone uh, ready right now. Are we going to use it to take a look at this collapsed building and look for survivors, or are we going to do an overlay and find out where the fires are so we know where to send people? So, of course, we sent it to uh, the collapsed mall. We've saved an X amount of people there uh, by playing that many games. Or, but if you do that, then you lose out on looking at the fires, and now there's going to be more fires that we're not going to know about, so more people will die in fires. Um, then we've also talked a bit about um, having like the drone, multiple drones fly over. Sure. So, so what I was uh, kind of running off of on this is that our magnifying glass is not very detailed. Uh, it's a uh, lot more detailed than looking at it without the magnifying glass, but we're still quite a ways up. Uh, and uh, so the uh, concept, just kind of riffing off of uh, Merrick's drone idea here, uh, is that uh, uh, Allison's asking me what you want to do. Uh, there's a uh, drone over this part of the city, a drone over this part of the city, uh, uh, and they go, uh, oh, uh, put me into that drone. Uh, we'll put out the fire. Uh, and that puts you into a lower level of view than the magnifying glass gives you even uh, because you're looking at kind of drone level flying around the building to put up fire and stuff. But uh, the big part that uh, is uh, coming into this, and uh, if we don't have Matt on the line, so I'll have to go through this again, but Matt asked me the question, uh, uh, what, what's this robot? Why is this robot entering things? Uh, and we'll have to uh, catch Tony up on this as well. But, uh, but the whole idea of intermediation by the, uh, uh, the robot, I think, is really important for constraining our grammars uh, for speech. Uh, uh, but also for making sense of this confusing experience we're expecting people to jump into very quickly. Yeah. And I think yeah. the same thing applies from the, uh, uh, the drone, uh, uh, that it's still a somewhat uh, intermediated experience, that you're in the drone, uh, in the drone in a very uh, close-up view, uh, uh, but you're still giving commands and actions essentially to Allison to, uh, uh, now that you can see what's going on, to give detail-level commands for that meeting. I wonder even if we could put our player piece inside of the drone piece. And then put it somewhere, um, and it can check that out from the drone, and that's when it becomes the app on the station. And that's going to be dependent on the density. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I keep obsessively refreshing to see when I actually get a status that seems like to uh, <laughs> just say, uh, no, that status available yet. Please try again later. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, oh, sorry, I don't want to take you off. Is that the hit kind of thing? That's more or less it, and then at some point we picked out and chose for it. I really, yeah. I gotta admit, um, I got to hear a little bit of this uh, uh, earlier, and just the way you put it together, your eye for what this is gonna be like, is just like, I can see it. And I really like it, because it's true, I have no instinct in games or anything. It's like, what do I do, what do I do? But <laughs> like, just nothing. And I think, um, I think for a person like me, this, I, the way you do it, what a, you could do a script writing, like it's, it's exciting, it's, I'm yeah. excited, thank you, Scott. Yeah, no, I think there are a lot of great elements in here as well. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, I, I think the two things that I want to uh, touch on a little bit is that this is still a, uh, a demo script for August, uh, not a demo script for March. Um, uh, it, it, it just to kind of put everybody's uh, immediate fears at rest uh, that uh, we talked right at the start about killing two player for March uh, and uh, killing a lot of interactions for March. Uh, that uh, so this is an August uh, description. Uh, uh, the uh, second thing is, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, and maybe this t just takes more fleshing out when we play with the dead minis, uh, that it uh, uh, takes the best advantage of uh, 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 this physical virtual uh, 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 interaction. Uh, and uh, uh, that's kind of what I was getting at as you're describing the orb being the first time that the, uh, the map blew up in here, uh, is that uh, uh, my uh, idealized conception, and it won't work this way, it really, it really won't, uh, but uh, uh, we'll see when the Zeds appear, uh, but uh, idealized uh, is that uh, you put on the headset when Allison is uh, coaching you to uh, put on the headset and uh, things might be a little bit blurry because your IPD is off, so you twist the IPD and shift things up and down, uh, but you're looking at the real world when you're doing this, uh, so it's just like you put nothing on your head, uh, um, and okay, now it looks like nothing because I've adjusted everything okay, uh, and uh, uh, then you carry Allison over to the, uh, uh, the map board and put her in the uh, power suit, uh, uh, and at that point, uh, your uh, kind of uh, gray, low uh, poly map board from as if we're only going to be able to see and see it with so yeah. many things on it, uh, uh, and there will be buttons and things on it. Uh, uh, yeah, but as soon as Allison goes in the uh, uh, the map board, uh, uh, boom, a wave of green uh, uh, clears yeah. over the map, uh, and the buttons hide, and they're covered by the green textures. Uh, uh, okay. uh, and it's really only uh, when uh, you want to use them again that they pop out from the green and our buttons again. Uh, um, but that's kind of, uh, here's Port Alberni Valley, uh, uh, we're going to start our preparation. Uh, to do that, uh, you can, uh, you, you can take it to other worlds. Uh, here's how you do it. Here's your orb. Uh, uh, boom, you're in with the, uh, uh, the dolphins or something. Uh, um, uh, you have to pop back out of it, uh, but then you enter the game. So I think cool. seeing the map and having that interaction between physical and virtual uh, is going to be really powerful. I like that quite a bit better than the board game. That's cool. Cool. That's super cool. cool. Yeah. And I think easier in some sense. Yep. Because yeah. we start with just a mapping of the real world, uh, and uh, it, it, it's not until we actually start the game that we start overlaying our uh, pieces once we have all the corners identified by fiducials. Uh, it, it, so uh, you're already all in alignment and stuff before anything comes up. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. There's probably a single player carrying over there on the, yeah, the stick. And, yeah, uh, that's uh, easy uh, enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. And the, if the Z minis aren't working as well as that, we're still shooting yeah. for that anyway. Well, if the Z minis aren't working as well, that's our target right now. Uh, our fallback targets uh, are, uh, uh, if they're only kind of working for the real world, then we're mostly a VR experience. We kind of include the Z minis as possible. But if we pull them up in their ship, we can't do anything with them, uh, we're back to a VR experience. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and then, then it may be back to the world. It may be. It may so be. there's, and, and then the map doesn't make as much sense, and uh, it, yeah, but uh, it still would be a compelling experience to have physical Allison uh, and uh, yeah, sit down, put on your headset, uh, and have virtual Allison leading you through the uh, yeah, the games we've got here. Um, I'd be disappointed with that fallback, but uh, yeah, that's 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 life. You know, it's, I would have a fallback. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So I think the uh, the big thing I wouldn't use that word. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, So so I think really the main things that we've got to uh, get uh, get figured out for uh, for next week, uh, um, and I'm going to start calling it next week, even though we know it's the uh, the 22nd. Uh, our uh, uh, earthquake on this scenario, uh, our uh, tsunami wave on uh, on this scenario, uh, and uh, the uh, little bit of speech intro. Uh, 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 yeah. Is that that sound right? That sounds right. Yeah. And you've already got some earthquake. Uh, yeah. Uh, is it in the grave with the bill? No. No. Okay. But he's um, got a demo on a USB. Okay, uh, let's look at it when it's integrated with the build. Okay. Um, I, I think that's, uh, I, I, from here on out, want every new feature to be, uh, to be in the build as part of the, uh, the, 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 main, uh, the main demo. Uh, do you have access to the source code and everything? you know where it is? Uh, I thought it was on GitLab, but... Uh, it is? It is? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so if you uh, sign into uh, GitLab at bcqueries.ca slash code, uh, um, uh, and uh, if you uh, have lost your password, just reset your password. Uh, 
I, and uh, then integrated the branch into the the, uh, the main build, um, and uh, then make, make this world shape. This is from the first class. This was. Oh, this so is not plus. It's like sort of halfway version that you saw last time. And I, the magnifying glass is there, but I just implemented the uh, proper half plugin today, so it's not this version. Okay. Uh, one of the things that maybe we ought to do then, uh, and uh, this is back to process stuff, uh, is um, on every big project I've worked with where we've been using uh, a uh, source code repo uh, as an intermediate, we've also had some other channel to uh, talk about what was there and what to expect from it there. Uh, now, main branch should never be broken, uh, but uh, um, uh, it, it, does it make sense to uh, use the uh, Sonami alias to announce uh, a, a major pushes uh, when you do an integration from your branch into main branch uh, to uh, uh, you uh, and uh, yeah. that way, if I'm waiting on your bit, uh, I know when it's in, yeah. in there, and then I can pull. Is Jenkins that does that or something? Uh, Jenkins does the uh, continuous integration, uh, so it does it automatically. Okay. Yeah, but we're going to be uh, born in multiple people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll push back and send an email later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's actually uh, an incredibly cool setup. Uh, it uh, is. Uh, uh, you set a hook on your uh, source code repo uh, that uh, uh, yeah, then uh, Jenkins uh, yeah, yeah, picks up uh, and it can run off with the script to do post build settings to package things uh, and then uh, log into whatever your server you're deploying to do the uh, uh, server deployments, run the automatic tests, uh, 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 mark your acceptance as complete uh, 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 and then mark the uh, check-in uh, as accepted uh, uh, and uh, then even send out the mail saying it's accepted in your build. So it's, it's all of the uh, fun automatic continuous integration and then you'd be publicly shamed if you broke the test because Jacob would be like, yep, yeah. you pushed the build and now the test is broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yep. yep. right yeah, real quick. And everyone's like, mm -hmm. right, right. I think you turned this off. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new up to date version. I had to wear the cone of shame. Yeah. 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 Y
Um, and, and let's say more like three, um, yeah. because then I'll, uh, I'll have a couple hours to work on this and then the next one to be done and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably keep looking at the dirties here. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, no hurry. Um, okay, cool. So uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, the speech piece, and that's in two sections, of course. Uh, uh, that's in, uh, the, and, and maybe we even built a separate project since uh, we don't necessarily want the uh, one that's running on the Allison laptop uh, to uh, be running all the code that the main laptop is. Uh, um, the other way we could do that uh, is just. Um, well, no, either separate project or separate flag to launch or something uh, that uh, in some way it's different anyway. Yeah. I mean, um, you're going to want to share a lot of the work. But yeah, yeah. So why not, why not just a different scene in the same uh, in the same project? They don't want best. duplicated files or anything. That's yeah. right. Yeah, no, that sounds ugly. So a different scene is probably the best group. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that also has the advantage that I wanted to achieve with this is that uh, if uh, uh, Allison, uh, uh, I'm calling the second one Allison and the other one I don't know what to call, but uh, I, I, if Allison and Matt are uh, both the same project on different uh, physical computers, uh, then whichever one has a catastrophic problem, we can swap in together. Yeah. Yeah. And we just give up Allison because that's the one that gets swapped out. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping by catastrophe, I mean software catastrophe, not hardware catastrophe. Yeah. So. Great, and there's too many catastrophes going on. Yes, there are. <laughs> it is true. It is true. Um, you on this? Uh, uh, so uh, integrating some of uh, uh, the uh, speech pieces as well, uh, but uh, that's not going to be a, uh, a full-time task. What's the? Uh, uh, are you okay for uh, starting on tsunami wave? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I got all this. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping that would be uh, easy. Okay. Next one. I'm not entirely sure what I should do. Like the other some things which aren't perfect, but yeah, uh, it I seems like perfect. you're kind of getting to tweak and uh, a, a, a perfect time, which uh, is not entirely necessary for this demo. Yeah. But the one thing that would I think make the uh, a 20 second demo much more compelling uh, is. Uh, uh, texture uh, improvements yeah. uh, and uh, I, a city texture. I don't know what I can do for that. <laughs> okay. I could create, I mean, I could create the original. But That's hard. Yeah. Um, we do have uh, a, a John Nathan says that there might be uh, city textures for Port Alberni available uh, as an FDX from uh, Edward. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we have to city install. Uh, textures. Yeah, so yeah. Of, of the buildings, of the, uh, the, the, the parts of actual Port Alberni. Um, so, so we have to install, what was it, City what the Engine? City Engine yeah. from okay. the Esri site to see if they have uh, a uh, model available for us. Okay. Um, they, they said it should just be publicly available if one exists. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know how to look for it or anything, but uh, that's, that's, that's one possibility. That's, but that's an FDX. Oh, they they told you they just have content. Okay, it's useless. Never mind. We won't uh, we won't even talk about that. Sorry. Well, that's useless. Uh, that that uh, Tiamang just said they just have Toronto, right? They uh, the city engine doesn't offer Port Alberni. That uh, yeah. But now, so are we supposed to have to do something else? Yeah. 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 I guess so. Yeah, we could probably steal from it. It's certainly not a bad idea to, 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 to steal block by block from the Toronto uh, city image FDX uh, and plug it into Port Alberta. Yeah. So, is it an FBX of Mars? An FBX of the model, yes. So, what are the textures? Uh, oh, I presume that it has uh, textures on there as well, uh, but uh, yeah, this is a good question. Yeah, FBX should have I was aware. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. 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 yeah, there's absolutely. Uh, um, see, we're proposed building blocks to do cast shadows, reflex heats, uh, 3D visualization. Uh, yeah, this is all absolutely textural stuff. Okay. Uh, there's nothing in building planning. Uh, so if you have a uh, big skyscraper with glass windows uh, and you've got a uh, building next to it, uh, 
other actually uh, building code regulations uh, that uh, you don't allow you to cook your neighbor with your uh, big glass windows. Uh, come on over, Nikki. Yeah. 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 yeah there's all sorts of good building considerations that could be overlooked. We were just kind of getting guys like that. And we're trying to fix it. Like just it will it melts stuff and like bugs and sidewalks don't do it. Uh, yeah, there's yes. totally a yeah, lens effect with uh, some of these big buildings where they kind of started modeling that better. Yeah, indeed. Um, I think Julian starts to come back into the uh, mix late this week. Uh, yeah. Um, he, he, he's out for most of the week with midterms. Uh, he's going to Montreal. Oh, he's on Sunday. Oh, right. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. Um, I didn't realize that. Right. Okay, so we do not depend on Julian for this demo. Yes. Then, uh, um, which means if we want better textures, we've got to achieve better textures on yeah. Julian. Um, the other thing uh, is... Uh, the forest side captures as much of my attention, honestly, as the city side, which uh, I, yeah. I don't know how we want to address that. Is by making it better or by uh, it, 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 making it uh, less emphasized somehow? Um, Is it like shift the model? Well, so, so shift the model, uh, or uh, if the uh, uh, magnifying glass doesn't work very well on the bad textures of the forest, uh, 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 that... Uh, we could actually blur it even more, right? and that would make me not yeah. want to look at the forest and uh, you know, move over the city as nice and crisp. The, the textures or the magnifying glass in there? Like one of the two. Because I think if you blur, blur the blur. textures more, it just kind of like. Bad. No, it's, it's easier to. I, I meant inside the magnifying glass. Oh. So, so yeah. when we're shifting those layers to what's inside the magnifying glass, what we shifted to for. Uh, Areas we don't want focused on uh, is uh, just a very blocky picture. Okay. Then it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is kind of what it is now. It's just just yeah. kind of in that intermediate zone where I wasn't sure if I should be trying to look there or. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was just silly to even bother trying. So textural improvements, I think, are a yeah. short-term thing. Uh, okay. I kind of feel like we're waiting on a uh, log jam uh, of. Uh, uh, a, a speech integration and scenario integration before the 22nd, uh, uh, that as soon as it breaks, and it sounds like it's likely to in the next day or two, uh, uh, that there will suddenly be new things to throw your way for yeah. uh, interaction with the event kind of as well. Yeah. Uh, and so some of those interaction pieces uh, are uh, uh, going to be things that if we, if we do get pushing cars around or uh, a, a, a point out extra routes or uh, if we do get a building falling over in the earthquake, uh, yeah. that there's all of a sudden a bunch of these new things to make it, uh, to make it better. So I think this is a very temporary one. Yeah. Okay. I almost wondered, like, it might as well start now on, like, the track redirection here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not, I don't expect that to be done for the uh, 20 seconds, but it might yeah, be started, and if it's not done, great. Being able yeah. To redirect. Like, yeah, to start, uh, so, uh, so here's the sequence of things that, uh, that, you know, even if not by the 20 seconds, I expect to see, like, shortly after that, uh, um, that, that we have the earthquake. Uh, lots of things happen in the earthquake. Uh, we go from the nice city textures uh, that uh, are upright buildings uh, to uh, uh, some of these textures are falling over and burning, uh, and uh, uh, some of those falling over burning things are blocking intersections. Uh, and uh, we probably want to have a, a small handful of scenarios uh, where uh, the uh, key intersection or uh, evacuation plan is going through uh, is now blocked by some broken down building yeah. or some broken gas main plane in there uh, or something like that. Uh, and to do that, we need to uh, do a couple things. Uh, we uh, need to be able to uh, uh, redirect traffic to the area that's not blocked. Uh, yeah. uh, we need to have the visuals of what the uh, blocked area looks like uh, um, and uh, what impact that has on all of the people trying to screen to that area. Yeah. Um, so, so I think those three things are uh, kind of challenging. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 uh, you have to use magnifying glass. You have to use magnifying yeah. glass. I think you don't see any of this without magnifying no. glass. Uh, and at some point, I think you have to bounce down even lower than magnifying glass to see what the drone looks like. Uh, yeah. It could be, as we talk about these drone uh, games, that uh, deploying traffic to uh, that intersection, uh, uh, I mean, bring the drone in uh, yeah. and uh, say, yeah, here's where you set up the cones, uh, uh, and, uh, point people down that street, and you're getting command. Yeah, I don't see you doing it with just magnifying no, I don't either. It's just not going to be ready to resolve that. Yeah. Yeah. So some of those are things I get to play with in the absence of yeah. some of the command log jam starting to break. Is that fair to characterize as a command log jam right now? Sure. Yeah. I think I think there's just some things waiting on the interaction. Yeah. Yeah, I should be able to just speak to the bus like chatter early tomorrow morning with like my dog because he just switches his leg. 
fun thing. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, have you gotten into Judy uh, Blackman's yet? No, I still want to try it. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, I hope it's good. Uh, it seems a decent mic. Uh, it's probably different, uh, it's more decent than your uh, yeah. uh, built in mic on the laptop. Um, but, uh, well, yeah, I guess I used it for a conference call before. So, yeah, it's okay, mic. It, it was fine. Yeah. Was it? No, it was stupid. Uh, I was trying to do, uh, this was one of the Earthcast calls, uh, actually, uh, I, and my mic on my uh, computer uh, it wasn't working. Uh, and uh, I found the only thing I could do was turn on the uh, vibe mic and put it on my head. Uh, so I couldn't see anybody, but I was sitting with a dark vibe on my head using it as a microphone, and they were all watching me in the dark vibe. Did you see you? I think I still have my camera on for that one, didn't I? You know what? I don't remember that. I, 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 stupid. I don't remember that visual. Maybe I had the camera turned off because it looked so silly. I think I think I had the camera off. Yeah, yeah. It's so, like, how to solve a problem. That's scary. Yeah. yeah. But, but I didn't get any complaints about the mic quality anyway, so okay. hopefully it's a decent mic. Yeah. Of course, we didn't hear them at all. But <laughs> that's <laughs> why I don't remember. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? What's what's blocking? What's cool? What have I forgotten? A random afterthought. Well, I think we may be done for random episodes. Shall I turn off uh, your recording for random episodes or subject that to them well, too? You can have, this is just a very quick update. So okay. now how made it to the top 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, so yeah, and all your names, I think, are on it. I don't know how this was supposed to be announced. Like it was. I, I still don't know what Yeah, nobody either. Sorry. Uh, this was the uh, naloxone uh, opiate overdose uh, AI oh, yeah, 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 yeah. thing yeah. that I talked about. Where uh, you mean it's uh, after, you, say it all. Uh, after you done, uh, did the naloxone training, you install the app on your phone and uh, say, I'm willing to go uh, 500 meters to help somebody with this kit. Uh, uh, and then when somebody has an overdose situation, uh, they uh, say, help, I need help. Uh, and it puts out the call to everybody within uh, uh, the uh, range they've set. Uh, so it's like, here's where somebody needs an auction. Yeah. That's fucking cool. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, it was put together very late at night. So he was editing it. It's kind of crazy. We have um, Stephen Devil and Adele B. is his name. And I have it written on the whole business. Um, so we have uh, some interesting collaboration there. IBM uh, certainly has a big smart city thing that goes on. This obviously was not core to your project, <laughs> but because I do think <laughs> that there are, you know, that everything in the world is related and that there would be, you know, opportunities even to think about just some lightweight AR in any kind of, um, sort of a community uh, emergency management type situation. So it's not to me, there's there's some like, what are we doing when an emergency is going on and we're trying to evacuate? And certainly the app itself is targeted exactly at the opioid crisis. That's what we need to do. That app is going to take the lead and run with it kind of as a scoped out kind of heat thing that we can just plug out and do. Uh, we have to do another pitch uh, March 11th. Um, we're up against other projects at Ubix, so that's kind of good. Um, I think that the, the type of creativity and brainstorming that you guys have brought to this project, um, there's lots of ways in which a pitch talks about much more than what we're going to be showing. I do think you want to show something, and that app will be working towards a little bit of an implementation tied to that. Yeah. So all your creativity, and uh, I think, I'm sorry that I don't think I circulated the thing that you edited, but it was to not distract. But now that you are actually famous on the South Island, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm picturing we're gonna win this thing. <laughs> so, so, if, so this is the part where we have to find out what we signed us up for. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, I've signed you up for so many different things. So, uh, so um, yeah, I think you've got um, a lot of opportunity for input here, but not to play stories or to say you're all of your focus is not on this other one. But I, again, I sort of feel like the infrastructure that says I can have an app that that says, uh oh, I see someone that's having an emergency. I think it's an overdose. Um, people that have opted in in the immediate area get the notification to respond. They can be on their way. You can see that there are people on the way or not. Um, people who are 
are maybe harder for them to get there if they see that other people are on the way. Maybe they're not, you know, so there's a lot of, there's things, but I think there's a lot of like good diet to what this could be. And again, that infrastructure, I think, could also be, I'm pinned to a tree during the tsunami. <laughs> you know, is there anyone in the vicinity that, you know, or um, Derek Bound or was told about another app that's in beta called Bravely. Brave, like you're brave, uh, brave. brave that L1. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's about that kind of community which wants to find tools that any of the friendship or, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So you could see that kind of infrastructure being used as well. Hopefully it's a really neat concept that they might use. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's fun stuff to do with it. I see AR that got me thinking, like, what if we could, like, take your phone and just, like, point the camera down to create a new way of call on that app has been like way on other visualization of oh there you go that's yeah. now I, I i love it but i'm going to push back for a second because if i got a message that i was unable to respond mm -hmm. i don't know that i want to be outed for having got the message that i'm not responding you know what i mean oh, i was thinking more like um if, like if that call for you lost them has been made then like a pin gets dropped and then you can just like Oh, you can see it as you're running towards it. Yeah. Okay, so it's not the people that are responding or could respond, but it's, yeah. And there's also like a record so that, I mean, I feel like this is not particularly useful, but it would, I think, have a lot of impact to be able to see all the, like to hold your camera, your phone, and have the camera like go to the street and see all these pin drops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The call mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would be neat to aggregate that data. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I think that form would be really interesting to see, but yeah. yeah. But I think the next generation of, of, I agree with you, and I think, and, and I do think that anything that you can tie into this, so this, this pitch goes out in bids into some island possibilities budget, uh, and it's not for the $10,000 time, but there is like a $50 million prize for the Canada why, like, I mean, ours is a small pitch, but again, you know, there's lots of ideas, and definitely, I think when you start thinking about pulling in AR, I think there's a, something that will talk to the next generation of how we help each other. I need to figure that out. Anyway, so other apps that are, so we'll keep you posted on that, but it's not supposed to be too fast. Can you send around the
Now I really am going to turn off Matt and Julian. And